Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to explore two essential concepts in MSI packaging, advertise shortcuts and self-healing. These features play a crucial role in ensuring smooth application deployment and maintenance. Now, advertise shortcuts are more than just icons on your desktop. They are intelligent pointers to files and folders installed by an MSI package, but they come with a twist. Before launching the linked file, Windows installer checks if all the components of the related feature are properly installed. This ensures a consistent application experience. We need to remember these key points. Advertise shortcuts validate installed components before running the file. Also, the shortcuts target must exist within the MSI package. Now here's the magic. When dealing with applications with multiple features, self-healing focuses only on the related feature during repair. So if a shortcut belongs to feature A, for example, self-healing checks only for feature A's components for consistency. Now, if we have a look, for example, in this small little project that I have here, if we go to the files and folders page, we will see that we have here, for example, two executables, app finder and hello world.txt. If I want to go to the component of this specific executable, which by the way also has its own shortcut if i go to this we will see that the app finder component which is the component for this executable is actually part of the second feature that means that when the self-healing mechanism begins the self-healing mechanism will only check if all the components in the second feature are present on the machine so for example if you have um, a different uh, registry key right let's say we have this registry key here but this is not present on the machine then the msi will start the self-healing process and place this registry key on your machine because this is part of the second feature but let's say this particular registry key is missing but it's in the main feature unfortunately if you run the app finder as your first shortcut that means this registry key will not be populated on your machine because this component is not part of the feature where your shortcut belongs to now self-healing doesn't wait for distress signal it automatically triggers when specific events happen. These events include app launches, document openings, or even certain Windows installer actions like repair or modify. It's a proactive approach to maintain application integrity. Remember, self-healing relies on the availability of the original installation source. Benefits include streamlined maintenance, data integrity, and an enhanced user experience. For deeper insights into shortcuts, Check out our MSI Packaging Essentials ebook where you'll find valuable information to bolster your knowledge. If we try to dissect the anatomy of the installation package, every MSI based application has a comprehensive installation database, the actual MSI package. This package contains everything needed for the app's installation and maintenance. Files, registry entries, shortcuts and configurations are all bundled up neatly and guess what? you can find a mini version of this package in the system root installer folder or to be more precise this is located on your installation partition for example in most cases c windows installer and if we scroll down we will see lots and lots and lots of mini msis these are cached msis for certain products that you have installed on your machine and as you can see the size is pretty small MSI packages are cached within the OS after installation. However, this caching method might not cover all the scenarios when dealing with user data in form of files. Now, for example, when an MSI is removed from its installation location, if we have here an MSI on the desktop, I know this is not the way to create an MSI, this is, this is just for educational purposes, but let's say I have a vlc.msi here on my desktop and I install it from here. Now, when this is removed 
if we use the previously mentioned solution of the advertised shortcut and we have some uh, user data in form of files which need to be placed somewhere in app data for example the previous solution that we just showed might lead to failure the VLC media player preferences, right, for example, wouldn't transfer to the end user profile upon self-healing because for self-healing to work, user data files should be correctly implemented. Otherwise, the user might need to manually browse to the MSI, copying it again onto the computer because when the self-healing starts, if this VLC.MSI is actually deleted from the desktop, you will see a small pop-up when you start the shortcut which states, hey, please give me the location of the MSI because I need to actually place this data according to my self-healing mechanism onto the user's computer, but I don't have access to it. So please let me know where to find out that VLC.MSI. Uh, for this to work, there are basically two primary approaches that can address this issue. Um, you can either go with advertise shortcuts with custom actions and a dummy registry key or active setup mechanism with per machine files placement. To quickly brief about this, um, we can leave the advertise shortcut uh, right here as it is, but the files let's say we have here some files uh, as mentioned in the local application that right let let's say that we need to copy this reg file in the local app data right so the local app data points to this local app data right so so it's your user app data local right we can uh, so we can leave the shortcut here as it is and we can leave it advertised. However, the local application data is wrong. This should be actually moved inside the application folder. Let's say I'm going to do a new folder called uh, app data, right? And everything we have here from application data will be copied from here. Next is to do a small custom action, either uh, a VB script or a PowerShell script, advanced installer can do both, but let's say we have a PowerShell script, then here we can actually um, copy the, uh, the actual files right from the installation directory to the user location. And then we set a dummy registry key in the actual feature that this app is here so let's say uh, we only have one shortcut on this feature we create a new feature we, we create a new registry key here on the current user software product name and let's say here a new value uh, is installed right and we say one and what will happen actually let us go to the component we move it here on the second feature just so we maintain the whole idea right so what will happen is when the user will launch app finder.exe or or sorry it will launch the app finder shortcut what this will do is it will search if this registry key is present on, on the machine now remember we had this talk multiple times in the past and you can check our YouTube channel or different uh, blogs that we have. When an MSI is installed, especially in enterprises, this will be installed from the so-called system context or the anti-system uh, administrator. And this registry will surely not be present on the current logged in user. That means that the MSI will enter its self healing mode. But when an MSI enters its self healing mode, it doesn't just check if the registries are here. This also passes the uh, custom actions which are placed on the maintenance mode or repair mode, right? 
so for example if i have a new custom action here right this one and i uh, place it to run also in the maintenance mode that means when the self healing will start on the msi this custom action will be also executed and this custom action will copy the files from our application folder c program files vlc blah blah, blah app data inside my local app data folder the second mechanism that i mentioned is the active setup mechanism with per machine file placement basically this is the same thing but we need to do some adjustments first of all we get rid of the advertise shortcut second of all again you know you need to do the same custom action that you did before but instead on relying on the self-healing mechanism of the msi we are now relying on the active setup mechanism the active setup what it does is basically write a registry key on your local machine hive and when the user logs in it checks if that specific registry key is also present on the user's hive if that key is not present then it will run whatever command is listed here so for example if you go in advanced installer which also makes it much easier if you go in advanced installer product details active setup and add a new one uh the id will be the id of the active setup will be the actual product code of the msi the display name i don't care the stop path is actually what command that active setup mechanism will run when it will see that this hasn't been run on the user who is currently logged in in our case this is fine because this is the repair command and this will surely trigger our custom action and you click ok and that's it this is how easy it is to add an active setup with advanced installer um, what are the ups and downs for each um, approach now the first approach um, from my perspective is a much let's say safer one because technically if you ever want to trigger again another repair all you need to do is just delete those dummy registry keys that you did and everything will be fine active setup only run once that's the difference between these two other than that there is no right or wrong in this situation personally i've used uh the active setup mechanism much more than the actual self-healing for whatever reason um i guess this is how it's been used to but i didn't encounter any issues until now um what other people are like to do and i also recommend during the uninstall uh, of the msi make sure that this active setup is also deleted thank you for tuning in to this video if you found this information helpful don't forget to give up a thumbs up share with your fellow tech enthusiasts and hit that subscribe button for more insightful content until next time keep enhancing your msi packaging skills and stay ahead of the game